Brussels sprout slaw using our dehydrated ingredients and the method for rehydration is going to be rehydration by refrigeration. It's absolutely simple and absolutely delicious. So what we're going to start with is two-thirds cup of dehydrated shredded Brussels sprouts. Next I'm going to put in one quarter cup of dehydrated green onions. After that I'm going to put in one quarter cup of dehydrated grapes and these are both um, purple and white grapes. They're seedless too. Okay next I'm going to put in one quarter cup of um, dehydrated apricots. Now what you do with your apricots is you dehydrate them in halves like this and then you take your scissors because it's safer and easier and you cut them in smaller pieces. And then we're going to sprinkle the apricots on top of the dehydrated grapes. Okay, next, um, this is a shredded red pe bell pepper, and this is equivalent to one shredded red bell pepper. So I'm going to sprinkle that on top. That's about a half a cup that it equals to. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a saucepan, and in that saucepan we're going to put a half a cup of white vinegar, a half a cup of sugar. Next, this is a dehydrated red cherry pepper and I'm going to take that cherry pepper and I'm going to crumble it up inside the saucepan. Now I'm going to take one cup of water and I'm going to add this to the mix. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the stove and I'm going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to pour it over the top of my dehydrated ingredients. The sliced almonds, I'm going to leave them to the side because when after my food has hydrated, I'm going to fold the almonds in. Okay, so now that I brought it to a boil and all the sugars melted and the vinegar is all stirred in real good, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it into this... Uh, measuring cup here with a funnel on it because it makes it easier when I pour it into the jar. Okay, I've poured the water, the boiling water in here and I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to let it cool and after it cools I'm going to fill it up the rest of the way with warm water. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 48 hours. Okay, and I made one up two days ago, and as you can see, when it rehydrates, it absorbs all the water and the vinegar and the sugar, and it fills the jar completely. Okay, I'm opening up the jar now, and then what I'm going to do is drain some of the juice off the top. Okay, now I'm going to pour it into a container here, and you can see that the the grapes have rehydrated back into grapes again. You can see that. And here's the apricots. Look at those great big pieces of apricots. And they were little tiny pieces when I cut them and put them in. And here we have the bell pepper. Okay, and then we'll get the rest of it out. Okay, now here are the sliced almonds that we put aside, and we're going to drop those, over, sprinkle those over the top, and fold those in. And you have a wonderful salad that is so delicious.
Okay, and you can see how beautiful everything is rehydrated and the grapes and, and the um, apricots, oh, and the bell peppers. It's wonderful and it's so delicious. And it was so easy to do. There you have it, Brussels sprout slaw. That easy and incredibly delicious. I hope you enjoy it.